Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal's Space Program. Well, last time we managed to rescue our Minmus mission. It, for some reason, didn't count as the Minmus mission. Um, it's, we still have a mission to return from orbit of Minmus. But I think we're going to push on. We did bring back a whole load of science, so we can do plenty here. We've got a chunk of money. Let's start off by checking out what kind of missions we have. So right now we've got that Explore Minmus mission we need to return to Kerbin from orbit. Also got a mission to bring back some green sandstone. So I think I'm going to go on a bit of a multi-part mission here. We've got a pair of missions to rescue people from orbit of Minmus. I'll also check off the Explore Minmus mission. And if we have enough Delta V, we can always come back, dock with the uh, pod that we've got in orbit and collect the rest of the science from there that we left behind. So let's get ready to do a multi-part Minmus mission. Got a load of tech to use, so let's start looking into this. Okay, I'm going to do advanced exploration to begin with here. We get some little more modules for making the flight around more pleasant for them so we can not deal with what we had before where everyone went on strike. It also gives us some more ladders and things for when we do land on Minmus. Gonna grab scanning tech, gives us more science options, along with electronics for the same reason. Can do aerodynamics and supersonic flight for more fairing options. Going to grab nuclear propulsion, not sure if we're going to use it on this one, but it is a useful one to get. Grab large volume containment, some big fuel systems. And I'm going to start clearing up this row here, so go for precise propulsion, actuators, recycling. And that caps out all of our science use. That's given us plenty to work with. Okay, so I'm going to design a new module because the last one we sent to Minmus didn't really have the crew capacity to make them, you know, not go on strike, and I'd prefer to avoid that if I can. I'm going to aim for about 7,000 Delta V, so I'm going to get started on that, put it all in a time lapse, and catch you at the end. See you there. Okay, so here we have the Skipper, or the Space Kerbal Interplanetary Pretty Posh Experimental Rocket. Pretty posh because we've got the Dawn Habitation Module. If I understand this right and I activate this, this should give us more than enough habitability time for this to be absolutely fine. Got loads of science packed away in it. But the main idea is it's just going to go to Minmus, orbit and come back. This entire top section is the general space stage. 
and then I have this rather large bottom section. This is all fused together but should run out of fuel at the exact same time so this can all detach together. Uh, this will get us into orbit. Coming along on this mission are Joan as the pilot, Bob the scientist, and that gives us plenty of space for our various rescuees. So with all that set, let's see if I can get this thing into orbit. Okay, but thrust to full, SES on, let's see if we can get to orbit. I don't know about orbit, this thing's going fast and far though. It did not want to do a uh, turnover. But now we can just about get that. Alright, let's attach that stage. Yep, that is a bit of a wonky orbit, but we should be able to get there, no problem. Right, here we are, deployed all of our solar panels. Did a load of science. Now I just need to do our orbital burn. Okay, it's still got 2000 delta V to play with. Okay, both of the Kerbals we're to rescue are in low equatorial orbits here. Okay, so first off we've got a plane change manoeuvre here. 100 delta V. There we go. Equalised our planes, now we just need to do the actual intercept burn. Okay, and got us a manoeuvre here that puts us on a collision course with Minmus. So we can adjust that when we get closer. Okay, I'm going for burn for the orbital change. Orbital transfer even. There we go, pretty damn good. Oh. Intercept of Minmus and got us a manoeuvre to put us within 400 metres of one of these craft as we're coming in. Now the thing that I believe I didn't do correct last time is the habitation modules don't seem to start active. We need to start the habitat. Yeah, there we go. Now habitation home time is... Uh, indefinite for Joan for some reason, uh, one year for Bob, so that is fine. With this module here we've got plenty of time. I forgot to give them food, that was stupid of me. Um, oops. Okay, so we need to get back within 15 days or otherwise we've run out of food. We're not going to manage that. Damn it. It was going so well until then. Um, it's going to take us 12 days to get out here. We've not got any food. I forgot that. So, revert to vehicle assembly. Damn it. Okay, now we've got enough supplies to get out there, so we're going to have to repeat it all. Okay, so pretty much caught up to where we were before. I've now launched back on track to Minmus but now actually have supplies, so we can deal with this for quite a bit. Habitation is on again, so we don't have to worry about that. And we have a tiny manoeuvre here to put us into a nice encounter with the first pod. Okay, so now just trying to break us relative to the target. We are in an orbit now, just need to line us up a bit better. Some curb in there, eclipsing the sun, it's quite cute. Get overshot there a little bit. We're only 50 metres away, but I want to get a little bit closer. Okay, that should do 30 metres away, just going to bleed off all residual velocity. Here we go. Switch over to the pod. Tacot here can jump out. Just about make out the ship in the gloom. Ok, 
Okay, that's Tekot recovered. Yeah, just gonna increase the size of our orbit. And then just wait for the orbits to align again. Okay, then just a few little orbits later. I should be able to slow down, pick up the next Kerbal. Alright, then just trying to get us a bit closer to this other craft. There we go, nice and close. Just bleed off the rest of our speed. Hop over EVA Arbus here, and then Arbus can go and get back to the ship. I have realised I have made a slight error here. The actual re-entry capsule can only fit three Kerbals in, but I decided to take the science Kerbal along so I could reset experiments. Which was a little bit silly of me. So, not all four Kerbins can get back. Which does mean Bob here is gonna go into the other habitation module. And we're gonna leave him in orbit and we're gonna come back and rescue him at some point. But for now it's time for us to return back to KSC. Okay, now what I am going to do before doing anything else is I am going to get Bob to go over to the weasel. The weasel should have some support as long as I activate it, and so he can wait it out there. The rest of them can return in this thing. So Bob's got a few jobs here. First of all, he's going to take all data from this unit. And he's going to make his way over to the other station. Yeah, and he can take all the data that's stored in this ship. There's only a few experiments still there, that's fine. Take those back to his ship. And then you can store all the experiments in there. And then make his way back to his new home. Okay, we've got some duplicates, which is why I couldn't store everything, but that's fine. Now if I start the various habitats... Yep, he's now got plenty. So he's good here for 200 days, 300 days. Alright, now just time to return home. Yep, it's just checking. All three remaining crewmen are in the correct pod. So we can decouple that stage. Close everything up. And then just time to nicely drift back down to the planet. Oh shit, the parachute's just deployed. Uh, not ideal, okay. Alright, take data. Let go. Deploy shoot. Oh shit, EVA unavailable for the other two. No, here we go. Let go, deploy, shoot. EVA. Let go, deploy, shoot. Oh, well that was a bit of a panicking last moment there. Uh, the I had the stages wrong, so the parachutes deployed um, immediately, which is not really ideal. Okay, June Kerman safe. Terracot safe. Arbus is safe. 
Alright, and splash down Joan. Alright. Splash down Arbus. And a bit of a bounce, splash down Terracot. Alright, and just recovering them all. Okay, unfortunately it looks like Joan didn't actually grab the data. Or it's data we already had. But otherwise, everyone got back. So that's good. Okay. Uh, we did lose the uh, launch stage. It was travelling too fast and had no thermal shielding. Did all the rescues. Unfortunately, we still haven't recovered a vessel from the orbit of Minmus. We've recovered multiple Kerbins. Just not an actual vessel, because that crashed. Oh, well. Still partial success there. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed that, please do consider leaving a like and or subscribe. It really does help the channel. And otherwise, I hope to catch you in the next video. Until then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.